Article 38, shall the town of Hampton vote to amend the code of ordinance to regulate the handling, transportation, and disposal of animal waste, amend the code of the town of Hampton by adding to chapter 18 animals, the following new section to be number 18-13, 18-13 handling, transportation, and disposal of animal waste, A, no person who is the owner, keeper, trainer, or person in charge of a dog or other animal, temporarily or otherwise, permit such animal to defecate in violation of the provisions of this chapter without the necessary actions to immediately remove such defecate in a safe and sanitary manner. B, defecation removed in compliance with the provisions of this chapter shall be placed in a plastic bag or similar container and placed in a solid waste container for disposal at a solid waste facility. C, disposing of animal defecation by being placed in or transported to a public or private sewer, storm drain, or storm drainage system, or any part thereof, whether public or private, shall be a violation of this ordinance. D, any person found to have placed any animal defecation in a public or private sewer, storm drain, or storm drainage system shall be fined $1,000 for each such action and shall be responsible for all costs incurred in the cleaning of the system up and until it passes any test required under state and federal stormwater quality requirements or regulations and amend the code of the town of Hampton by adding to chapter 406-6 use of public sewers subsection C the following five animal defecation. Majority vote required, recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0. Is our motion to open discussion on Article 38, moved by Mr. Griffin, seconded by Ms. Barnes. Mr. Jacobs, would you like to start the discussion on Article 38? Certainly, thank you. Um, this is a Selectman's written warrant article in uh, response to what the department has been faced with over the last uh, two years. Mainly, um, persons owning dogs and been, yes they've been collecting their pet waste and putting it in a plastic bag but then they've been depositing in catch basins around town um, it kind of well it does it defeats the purpose uh, because the bags didn't disintegrate they ended up washing down the, the drain below the catch basin and eventually entering the surface waters of the town where they were gingerly picked up by Public Works employees. Another fun task of the SEA. Um, so in response to that, they came up with um, this particular ordinance. Uh, secondly, the need for the ordinance is, um, we knew this 200 pages was coming to us from the EPA under the uh, MS4 permit. And it's directly this kind of activity that the uh, MS4 permit seeks to eliminate because what we end up with is um, that fecal matter, uh, the bacteria uh, lowers the water quality. Uh, we see it weekly now in Tide Mill Creek when we watch, we grab two samples per week after the sewer force main break and we see those and some days they're five and two and one. Um, 14 is the limit, but we see them frequently speak, spike up to 75 or 100 or even 150. These are, it's a number of fecal counts or, or bugs per, if you will, liter of water. And um, when those occur, uh, those uh, spikes, it's when we have rainstorm events or, uh, you know, it's been occurring all through the month of January, so it isn't necessarily rain, uh, but we do get runoff excess runoff and it takes this fecal matter right into the water bodies of the town eventually out to the harbor and there again back to the beach so uh, this is to codify for lack of a better term uh, please cease doing that kind of activity uh, please pick up behind your pets and uh, let's see if we can get in compliance and protect our own environment thank you thank you mr jacobs anyone else wishing to be heard on article 38 Mr. Page. Just a uh, Nathan Page, Human Drake Center. A quick cl clarification I'd like to, uh, on Section A uh, persons in charge of, do of a dog or other animals. What's the other animals? I don't know. Um, it could be a horse. Uh, like you and I, we have cats. You know, we're going to chase a cat around the yard. Or, but the, I'm just concerned. I was wondering what's. What's the definition of an other animal? The, uh, is it people that have uh, 
just dogs and horses or goats or what? Or well, we let Mr. Goats. Uh, Dover has the incidence of, uh, they put together their ordinance and they only listed out dogs and they have a gentleman that walks a goat. Yeah, the I know the guy, yeah. So, they had to expand it to goats. <laughs> okay. They want to make sure that we don't, uh, people that have cats that normally let them out around their yards, they don't, uh, normally don't follow them around. So, thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Helena Barthel, 33 Dover Avenue. Um, while speaking online with the previous gentleman, my question may have been answered, but I wondered if this um, uh, warrant article would regulate or affect the horses that are on the beach, uh, or if that is state land, and I didn't know whether that would pertain to the beach, this Does anyone uh, have a ordinance. response for Ms. Bartell? Mr. Moderator, actually that's state property. The state allows them there. But they are also under the requirements to administer the MS4 federal requirements. So if there is pollution they are caused by the horses that are on the beach, and that degrades the water, and that's identified to the federal authorities, then they'll have to clean that up and take whatever action is necessary under the Federal Clean Water Act. Thank you very much. Ms. Jones. Just a couple questions. I found the word found to be interesting, what does that mean? How is one found? I mean, is a neighbor reporting the issue sufficient to constitute having been found? Does the actual defecate need to be found? How is found constituted? So that's section D of proposed article 38, and to Mr. Jones's question, um, you know, what is going to be the process if someone is accused of violating the ordinance um, it, who, who investigates, what type of due process, I suppose, is, is involved, and whether that's been thought out or whether there are any regulations on that. I believe, I believe that would fall into the police department, and also, so. <laughs> the ultimate finder is the court. I expect that the citation system would be used that's in place already for town ordinance violations, and therefore found would be by the court before the fine is issued, there has to be a finding. So that would, of course, court proceedings have evidence, and I assume the evidence would be defecate, and so the police will then have to maintain uh, evidence for them with, you know, defecate material in it. Yeah, and there's uh, pictures sometimes that are take the place of the actual uh, substance. But would that be sufficient in this case? Because then the argument would be, well, it wasn't my dog, it was another dog. Well, I think a judge will decide that if you'd like to test it. No, certainly uh, legitimate questions as to how it, it gets re enforced. Right. I, mean, I, I read or saw stories of condo associations doing DNA of dogs. To right. Try to, yeah. No, there's a challenge of linking. Yeah. yeah. I, I definitely see there's a public health need for regulation in this area. Um, I'm just a little concerned about how effective it will be if it's, you know, so easily challenged. Um, and also, I was just wondering if there was any consideration, since the public health is at risk based on, I guess in part, the amount of defecate, if the fine could not be adjusted to the amount of defecate in violation, uh, if there was any consideration on that as well. So. Right. I guess that was a rhetorical question, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 38? Seeing none.